Since the last time we spoke, we've completed uh, the Velocity first chase boat for Ineos. We're here today in Torquay carrying out sea trials, testing and stability trials of Ineos chase boat 2. We've been out on the water to launch the boat today. A uh, huge amount of work, initially starting with stability testing and weight testing uh, with the naval architect on board, measuring the degrees of angle of which the boat leans and the angles at which it moves and the placement of weight on the boat so that the, we know that the boat um, has the correct reports and is capable for the operations and the, especially the towing operations that she's due to carry out. Yeah, so boat V2 is quite similar to Chase Boat 1 for Ineos team. She has a slightly different deck layout. She's purposely built with a very, very narrow console um, and only for three persons on board so that she's able to carry spare sails either side of the boat and she's going to perform very slightly different roles um, in, the, in the different aspects of what Team Ineos do with, with, with their work. First time such a powerful jet thruster system has ever been fitted to a powerboat that we know of. It's been a huge technical challenge for both us at Ribcrest and with Honda on board to, to be able to power that. It's very important that the, the boat's able to actually uh, manoeuvre whilst tied alongside Ineos's sailing boat Britannia. Um, so whilst Britannia is alongside, they need to be able to move Britannia sideways, port and starboard, uh, without moving forward or aft, hence the need for such a powerful system. 11 kilowatts uh, powered via three outboards. Um, it's quite been quite a challenge for us, um, but we're, we're very happy today it's working perfectly. So V2, obviously today, after the initial Naval Architect trials, uh, we've been out testing not just testing the systems on board and the equipment on board, but actually carrying out assessments as to the systems and the operation of those systems so that we know that everything that we've planned between ourselves and Honda um, and with the sailing team are actually going to work as we've all planned. The safety equipment on board is, is vast, um, but it's also really important that the systems, man overboard systems, rapid deployment of divers um, and, and the large amount of life-saving equipment on board is all in the right place, that it's working properly and that the systems with the towing that we've designed into the boat actually work properly. And obviously that's, that's what we've been doing with the Maritime Coast Guard Agency Surveyor today and then going out and actually performing sea trials, uh, not just sea trials of how fast the boat could go, but her manoeuvrability, her stability at speed and, and the various aspects of her being able to manoeuvre and stop and, and carry out those roles that she needs to do. So from here V2, she's back to base uh, at Ribquest for some quality control checks over the next couple of days and when we're happy with that in two days time, apart from the obvious cleaning, she's being completely shrink wrapped and loaded onto an Arctic lorry where she'll head down to Sardinia to, to meet the team. Partnering with Honda um, for us at Ribquest um, is really important for us to, to actually work with a partner that understands the needs of how we want a boat to perform. Uh, they need to understand what the client actually requires when we're building a boat um, and it's that partnership of having someone that can actually uh, take that into consideration, give you the product that you want but then work with you as a partnership to achieve your goals is hugely important for us.